You guys hear that? When it said this meeting is being recorded? So weird, it never did that before. Must be a regulation thing. I'm going to keep looking up and down because I'm on the, I'm on a um, chat. Oops. I'm on a chat with um, the app people trying to rise. And I don't want to lose it. All right, I'm gonna keep letting everybody in. All right, I'm gonna give it another two minutes. And I don't suspect this meeting is gonna run super long today because it's just the extra wrap up. Okay, we're gonna give one more minute. See if anybody else is gonna pop on here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So hopefully you guys are all having a great week. Um, this is just pretty much a wrap up meeting. I don't have a topic of discussion. Um, it's basically just to talk between all of us, go over some issues um, with the app, tell you what I'm hearing and wrap it up. So first thing is, great job, everybody, this last challenge. And if I keep looking at my phone, I'm so sorry. The tech keeps messaging me from Trainerize. Um, 
You guys did awesome. Logging your fitness, keeping up with your habits, logging your weight, your, your pictures, everything was amazing. Please do not forget Friday will be the final weigh-in. Um, please do not message me on Saturday and tell me you forgot or Thursday, tell me you can't do it on Friday. If you don't weigh in, then you are in, considered um, part of the challenge. And depending on how it goes, I need everybody's weigh-ins on Friday. Um, and then you weigh in again on Monday. So the next challenge does start May 31st, but it's a six plus one challenge. So that means, or a one plus six challenge. The first week you guys can use as your challenge, like to hold 100% because you guys are already in the challenge or you're in the, the sessions. For the people coming in, that's their learning week. And then the following week starts the whole 100% challenge. So it's seven weeks for you guys. It's seven weeks for everybody else, but I can't give away my time to new people and just be like, yeah, you could start this week, but it doesn't count. And I answer hundred million questions all day long. So it's one plus seven, instead of the challenge being six weeks, it's one plus seven, you guys get seven, they get one for learning and then six, it starts. Um, and that's what's gonna happen with the next challenges all going forward. Um, otherwise, if I put them in the app too early, then I'm coaching way ahead of time and I can't coach two separate groups. It just doesn't work for me, it doesn't work out. Um, as far as my fitness pal goes, um, I'm gonna make this a blank statement. If you are frustrated with it, switch. I never told anybody to go on my fitness pal. I said, you have two options. My fitness pal is a great tracking app. It's great. And if you're not having problems with it, awesome. And I would say out of 150 in the app, maybe 30 are having an issue with it. Um, but if you are, then just switch to Fitbit. Fitbit, you don't have to sync. It automatically does it when you share. So you don't have to hit buttons or anything. You just connect, make it uh, public in my app with Fitbit and it automatically syncs it. But I'm letting you know right now, it's going to get worse with my fitness pal before it gets better. That's why I've been on calls with trainer eyes all day today because the, I'm gonna read it to you. Um, the transferring from their website from Under Armour with their integrations didn't go through properly. So they, Things are going through, we're getting duplicate entries, I guess. If people are putting on MyFitnessPal, it's going into Trainerize, it's getting duplicated. Things are not going through. You're not even able to manually sync. So I have no way of seeing your food. Um, if you're hitting your numbers, awesome. So when I scroll and I see that you're not hitting it or I don't see numbers and I message you and be like, oh, why aren't you logging? You can't take it out on me and be like, dude, I'm logging. Why aren't you seeing it? Because I don't see it. So if I can't see it, I'm gonna message you and say, I can't see it. An option would be to take a screenshot from my fitness pal and send it to me so I can see it. It would be a great option if you want me to see your numbers. Um, they are asking that everybody that has the premium my fitness pal send a support message. You guys pay for my fitness pal if you have premium. And oh good, Jen switched to Fitbit and loves it. Yay, that makes me so happy. Um, all the new tribe members coming in, I am putting them on Fitbit. If they argue with me and say, no, they want to be on um, my fitness pal, then I'm like, okay, it's all on you then. It doesn't work properly anymore. Until it does work properly, I am not supporting it. I can't do troubleshooting with it anymore. I've been on the phone with trainers all day today. They have thousands of clients that are having issues with my fitness pal. And then they're having thousands that are not. So it's like, it's not a one blanket of everybody having issues with my fitness pal. Um, so you have two options, my uh, Fitbit, you do not need a Fitbit, you just download the app and it works great. It works smoothly, you don't have to worry about anything and you're good to go. Um, if you wanna stick with my fitness pal, I'm, I'm fine with it. But if you're having issues with it, I can't help you. There's nothing I can do. Good, Naseem, I'm so happy. And Naseem is actually a, a premium member from my fitness pal and she's gonna switch. but. I switched. I have Fitbit on my phone now too. Um, a lot of things that they're having is like double entries, not syncing. Even when you try to manually sync it, it's not manually syncing. The overnight sync is working, but that doesn't help you guys to know if you hit your numbers before that time comes. Um, well, you don't have to connect your Fitbit to your Apple Watch. You can connect your Apple Watch directly to my app. So you don't need... Um, my fitness pal or Fitbit for iWatch. 
There's a new group I put in the app, uh, app yesterday. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I started cleaning up groups yesterday. I put a new group, nobody's in it yet. And it's I Watch Trainer Eyes. And there's a big video and all this stuff in there. So I need you to message me. I don't want to put everybody in there. Because if you have an I Watch, you don't want to be in that group if you don't have one. So I need you guys to message me and just put I Watch. And I'll add you to that group. Jen Sklobicki, I'm adding you right now because I know you have an I Watch. I can tell because you're excited. So I'm going to add you right now. I lied because I don't have it up, um, but I will let be adding you right now. Here we go. It looks like a globe. Um, and yeah, so if you guys message me, I will put you in there if you want to be in it. I know that Lauren, Lauren, you on here? Lauren faithfully uses her watch for her macros. Like it tells her her proteins, her carbs, her fats and everything on her watch because I train her in person every day. And every day I train her, I could see her proteins, her carbs, her fats on her watch. And she looks at it to see when she's done training with me, it's time to eat and she knows what she can eat. So I know it works like a charm. I know it's great and fun to have, right, Lauren? She's driving, so don't look, just drive. Um, but yeah, so the iWatch is awesome. If you have it, message me. I'll link you into that group and you can watch the video and all that fun stuff. Um, Fitbit, I did another group with how to use my app slash Fitbit. And I put some of things in there as well. It definitely helps you. Um, I cleaned up the cheat sheet app, uh, group. I cleaned up the um, important links group. And I cleaned up the... Um, cheat sheets, oh, um, important shopping, and then the, the YouTube. I made those all trainer post only so that people don't get bogged down with notifications like thumbs up, that's great, I did it, I got it. So it com comes down some of the notifications. The weekly meetings, this meeting is the last meeting of the challenge. I'm gonna go in and shut down the group. I'm gonna bring the group up again for the summer shred challenge. All the meetings that we've done this far for the past challenge are on YouTube. Nobody ever goes back to previous and it just bogs down the group. So I'm always gonna put the next group, next meeting in the group. Um, and I was told today that if you watch it in the app and not on YouTube, all you have to do is say, no, you don't wanna track it on your watch. Someone got that notification. So if you don't want the minutes to count on your iWatch, you can just say, no, you don't wanna, complete the workout and you're done. Um, so it's gonna be in both places. Always YouTube's gonna continually have all the meetings. The meetings group is gonna be clean of just the, the current Shred Tribe meetings. I'm also gonna put topics in there of the current meetings as we go through like week one, week two, week three, so you guys know what topics are coming up. Um, the say it in public, my why, I love that um, you guys are using that. It makes me really happy because when you put it out in public, it makes it more of a goal versus a dream. And Preeti did it and today, and actually it brought tears to my eyes. So I love that she did that today. I don't even know if she's on here or not, but hopefully she'll watch it on recording. And, you know, it, I always open myself up to you guys. I cry on here, I don't know how many times, but when I see, I'm gonna cry again. When I see you guys feel comfortable enough in our tribe to be you and let yourself go and let everybody know what you're going through, or what you're dealing with and you're still in the group and you're still working hard, that is amazing to me. And that's why we're all here for each other. So I really, really appreciate that. And it means the world to me that you guys do this um, because you guys mean everything to me. Um, so the groups now, I would love feedback. And I was gonna send out a, um, a questionnaire with Naseem and freaking our days got away from us and she got sick and then I got sick and then like I didn't have AC and just never met up on Zoom with Naseem because she lives in California. Um, but I want your honest feedback, not here in this group right now, but if you want me to add something or change something or do something, I need you to help me make this program grow and be the best program it can be. And if you just tell me, oh, you're an amazing coach, which I love hearing, oh, you're an amazing coach and I love the program and you're awesome and it's this and it's this, I love that. But I would like for you to say, you know what? I want, I don't know, stop getting so many notifications. Well, I could tell you just turn off your notifications, but they're just whatever you want, you know, there's, um, there's, I don't know, just anything that you wanna come back at me at, cause I think my program's perfect. 
but anything that you guys can think of because you guys are the users. I don't use it. I use my tracking and that's it. So I don't actually use all the app stuff because I'm the one that's doing it all. I'm the operator. So um, anything that you guys can give me would be amazing feedback. Not to say that I'm going to put everything you guys say into place, but I will definitely try to. Um, I don't know if I posted in the important announcements group, the meetings that I'm going to have for the next try try group, but they are pretty much black and white. And I upgraded my zoom so that I could stay on longer than 30 minutes. So I can finish one meeting and go into another, not have to go, hold on. And let me talk really fast. And if I have 40 minutes to say something, I want to be able to say it in 40 minutes. Um, the only thing that we have like the snippets for is how to do this and how to do that and all that kind of stuff. So that is available in the app in one of those groups. Uh, dumb question, I'm not very tech savvy, but I have an Apple watch. Can I utilize Fitbit with my Apple watch? I have no idea. Jen Sklobicki is saying no. You I cannot. Need... Okay, why can you use it with my fitness pal? Sorry, say, say that again. So she's asking about Fitbit. Were you able to use it with my fitness pal? Sorry, my phone, my, okay, one more time. Okay, so I'm confused. Did your Apple Watch work with my fitness pal? Yes. Oh, okay. But because Fitbit has a, like, it's a, it's a watch itself. Right. It's, its own wearable. It's not compatible with another watch type. So there's a word. So if you're worried about like your steps and stuff like that, is that why you're asking? I'm, I don't know why you're asking that question, but um, you really don't need my fitness pal because Fitbit, there's a way that your steps automatically go. Well, you have an Apple Watch. So your Apple Watch is automatically going to connect to my trainer eyes. Fitbit automatically connects to trainer eyes. So you don't need that middle thing anymore. I don't know what you were using Apple Watch for with my fitness pal. Do you, Jen? Know why someone would? Okay. So I think it's macros. Like, is when you log it in my fitness pal, well, eh, no, it won't. It'll work. Yeah, it should still work. Yeah, it should still work. So Your macros are coming from Fitbit. With, Fitbit is a direct link to Trainerize. So there's no, like, you don't even have to make it um, sync. It automatically does it. Like, there's no, I, there's no way to make it sync. Like, once you share it public, it's automatic, which is great. My fitness pal would it didn't plan on doing that, but. It doesn't have that yet. And Apple automatically syncs, which is your steps and your workouts. So, and your numbers, your nutrients go on your watch. So you shouldn't need anything else other than that. But um, what happens is like your steps. So like on my Apple watch, I, my daily steps, those don't sync over. Well, they'll sync over to the app, but it doesn't sync into my fitness, um, Fitbit. Correct. So like if, so if you were trying to think of like, if you were putting your exercise or your steps, like the calories that you're pushing out, if you're putting, wanting to include that in your Fitbit app, it, you have to manually do that. Oh, well, that's totally not anything that I would ask for. That's for yeah. that be like on you guys. Like, I don't need to know what your calories out are on Fitbit because I see it. I, I know that because it's going from your Fitbit, your, your watch to me. Mm -hmm. Um, do, will do you mean the macros we posted from trainer to the Apple watch if you log it and Fitbit? I don't know what that means. So like the, the person that you just mentioned, and I, I forgot her name already, but how on her watch, it shows the macros. Oh, Lauren, Lauren. So, so like I, maybe the question is, how do you get to see that? Oh, well, that's on what your watch. I put you in the group. I put you in the group and once you go in that group, there's a video to watch and it tells you how to do everything. This is exactly what I sent Lauren, I sent you and she did it. All right, what else? Non issue, but it becomes from trainer is not fit bit. Um, right, because it comes from trainer is correct. Um, Well, they're not going to refund you guys because you can technically use my fitness pal standalone as a premium. So a lot of coaches are just asking their clients to send them a screenshot of their daily my fitness pal, but that's that actually makes no sense to me. I mean, you guys can totally do that, but it makes no sense to me. Um 
Um, Oh, that's a good idea. So Jen said when she can't find something in Fitbit, she'll look for it in my fitness pal and then create the meal in Fitbit. That's a good workaround. Me too, Apple Watch Group. Okay, putting you in there. Um, Lauren, can you talk or no? Oh, you're sitting down now. You're not in your car. I can talk. Okay, can you explain to them how you did the, so it comes up on your watch so that it helps Jen also? Uh, it's been a long time and all I did was follow whatever instructions you sent okay. to me. So it definitely so it worked. It's no it was problem. The thing that I sent to you. So I'm going to send yeah. it back and I sent it to, I'll put you guys in. The yeah, it was easy. All right, Anselin, I just added you to the group. <laughs> okay, don't all start messaging me to add you to the group. I'll just send me the message privately. And then, because all I'm going to do is keep adding you guys to the group and I won't be talking anymore. And then we won't be having a meeting. Um, there's no pictures this Friday. It's just weigh-ins. And what else? Um, what's on my notes? So the first house for the retreat is full. I have a second house. If anybody was waiting, wasn't sure if they were going to get in or not, or wasn't sure yet. The second house is open. There's one person in it so far. I really don't need to know until like August 1st for the second house. The guy gave me a later deadline, which was great. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. I re getting my website redone and I changed my website. So last year when I tried to get my website, Shred Tribe was taken. Well, my web developer guy looked like, I guess every month to see if the people let it go. And the people that had Shred Tribe let it go and he picked it up as soon as they let it go. So my new my new uh, website's gonna be shredtribe.com, which is freaking awesome because it was SB Fitness Tribe and nobody would get it and whatever. So now it's just Shred Tribe. So anytime anybody says, oh, how can I find out about your friend? Shredtribe.com, um, which is super cool. Don't look it up now because it's not live yet. Yay, party, party logo or symbol or emoji or whatever that's called. Um, I am tech savvy like I cook, just so you guys know. If that helps you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know I can't cook. I am not tech savvy. So whenever you guys come to me, I go to somebody else and ask them. You guys are killing me with these emojis now. Um, okay, so we talked about retreat. We talked about my fitness pal. Um, we never got around to doing the um, vision boards. So we are definitely gonna do it. It's on my schedule for week two of this next challenge. Because once you get it done in the beginning, then we can start sharing every meeting two or three Zoom, uh, Zoom board, vision boards. Um, I would love for you guys to send me an idea, if you have it, of a meeting topic. If there's a topic you want me to talk about. Um, I might talk about it. I might not. But if I do, I'll give you props for it, for sure. I don't need to take credit for it. We do. Um, What else? Does anybody have anything they want to share? All right. So for those that were new in this challenge, raise your hand if when you first came in, you thought macros was the hardest thing in the whole freaking world and you were going to leave after the first day. Raise your hand if it's so much better now. Yay! That makes me so happy. That is the point because you guys are learning and that's what I want. I want you guys to understand and learn. And I love, 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 love that. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. The, the referrals are going insane. My phone today, I had to like turn away five people uh, because I can't just mentally bring on that many people physically as one person. It wouldn't be fair to you guys or to them. Um, but I always say hang out, wait, because you never know. People start and then I either fire them or they fire me. It's usually me letting them go. But, um, you know, a tribe is a tribe. And if it's not the right fit, it's not the right fit, right? No matter where you are, you want to be in the right place with the right people. And I can usually get a feel for people within the first like three days. And I'll always say, hey, like form a line. Hey, are you sure this is the right group for you? Or are you sure this is what you want? And usually like, well, I'm not really sure. And I'm like, well, I'll be more than happy to refund you if you don't think it is. And then if the people say, wait, don't, don't cut me short yet. Or don't sell me short yet or whatever. Then I'm like, okay, they're, they're good. 
But if they're like, okay, then I knew that they weren't meant to be. So um, spots do open. So if there's somebody waiting and it's one of your friends, I apologize. Um, I, I do love to get everybody in, but it's not always possible. Especially because you guys are telling everybody about it, which is awesome. Okay, anything else? Does anybody have anything they want to share? Wow. Alrighty then. I'm going to let you guys go. So I gave you guys homework. If you have any topics for meetings, if you have any constructive criticism, I love constructive criticism. The only way you grow is by constructive criticism. I do not take anything personally unless you told me you didn't like me. And then that way I would take very personally. But otherwise, it's all a growth learning experience. And I want you guys all to grow with me and I want to grow with you guys. So um, definitely share, share, share. Have an amazing Wednesday night. I'm super excited for Summer Shred. Um, we're all going to be jacked for the summer. And then we all, a bunch of us are going to get to meet, even from people from California are coming in from the for the retreat, which is freaking awesome. Um, and I think that's it. So have a great night, everyone. Remember, always be badass. And let me know if you're switching to Fitbit, because if you do, I need to switch it on my end. Otherwise, you'll never get shout outs on the daily nutrition shout outs if I don't know you're doing it. So message me and, um, and if you're doing Apple, message me and message me if you have any feedback. All right, I'm out. Have an amazing night, ladies, gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in every Wednesday night. You guys are freaking badass. Bye guys. Bye Shannon. Bye. <laughs>